Yerushalayim, warning people about things, and it turned out that he was the only one in the country who knew what was going on. The whole country was wrong, and he was right. His name was Yermio. And uh, because they didn't listen to him, there was a churban. So we have a precedent in history where one coin can be right, and the whole country can be wrong. This coin, Bar Hashem, has a lot of people who are supporting him. <coughs> Tonight, I just want, like to point out, it's an odd thing that Rabbi Meikhani has become a controversial figure even in the Orthodox world. So many Frumayidin who are sort of frightened of him. And it struck me this week, in fact, Charles, give me, say, give me my Jewish press, I brought it there, special. It struck me that here we are finishing, thank you, finishing 40 years of a Medinas Yisrael in which we only had one single prime minister who ever used the phrase Baruch Hashem? You know who that was? Menachem Begin. The only one who ever used the name of Hashem, ever. The only one who knew that there's such a thing called Shabbos. And people have seemed to have lived more or less comfortably with this for 40 years. The Orthodox world is not up in arms. That secularists and several of them out and out atheists who never said the word God ever were running the government undisturbed. And then when they hear that a rabbi who believes in Shabbos and Kashrus and Paris and Shabbat and practices it, might, the dreams of becoming prime minister, they're scared and they're shaking in their pants. Hey, hey, catastrophe for the Medina. So what are they saying? They're saying that God helps the Medina when secularists run it, but if a from year takes over, who knows what God will decide? Very, very strange. Or are they really saying deep in their hearts that they have no confidence that God's running the Medina? They think America is. And you need, to, you need politicians to warm up America. Without America, the state won't live. But God is not running the show anymore. And that's the from you. Strange. <clears throat> this week's Jewish press, front page, Perez, is accused of slandering the religious settlers and is quoted as having been at a meeting in which he said, the West Bank settlers are a group of skullcap wearers with beards and guns whose appearance arouses ridicule. That's Perez, former prime minister. The fellows who sit in the yeshiva, they ridicule them. They say, ha, fruma, and they refuse to fight. These are the fellows who have a beard and a gun and a yamaka, and they're ridiculous too. But this is a man who doesn't believe in anybody who's religious, period. These are the leaders that we've lived with, and they're frightened to death that a frumayid will become prime minister. So if you listen to the frumayid, you begin to realize there's nothing to be afraid of. But okay, I there for 40 years, they're looking for this kind of leadership. I'm proud to present my friend, Rabbi Mayakani. <laughs>